Aloha family, this is your boy Crypto Roots. And uh, I just wanted to go over a few different things uh, that I felt were important for beginners to know when it comes to like investing in cryptocurrency. And so I'm gonna just go over briefly just a few uh, concepts and keys that I feel are important to know. All right, so if you go to coinpaprika.com, this is one of the best websites for uh, cryptocurrency market capitalization. Uh, I just like it because it has a lot of different data. And if you look to the right, there's a uh, Bitcoin dominance is 64%. The market capitalization right now of all the cryptocurrencies added up is about uh, $279 billion. And within the last 24 hours, $72 billion have been moved around all the markets. So out of all this, uh, 279%, 64% of that is dominated by Bitcoin. So that's important to know. And that's when it, you know, alt season and things come into play when you pay attention to the Bitcoin dominance. So here's all the market capitalization of all the different coins and just the brief, um, brief data. Now what I wanna go to, let's look into Bitcoin. You can see all the different time frames and the different uh, greens are the ups. So that's how much it went up in that time frame or the uh, reds are the downs. That's how much it went down within that time frame. Okay. So here's a market cap, uh, 180 billion right now for all of Bitcoin. The all time high was $20,000, uh, December, uh, 17th, 2017. And how the percentage to all time high 105% that's so that's, how high you got to climb the mountain no you know what i'm saying to get to the potential uh top of this all-time high but that's also how much you make if you get to the top of the mountain so it's good to look and see um like your potential it's like getting getting a, a a new race car and trying to see how fast it can go just to see how fast it can go so see what the potential it can do so you always want to look at the all-time high for the cryptocurrencies now this is important to know the circulating supply the circulating supply is how much is out there, how much has been distributed out there in the world. Now that's not always that's not always the same as the total supply. So the total supply right now for Bitcoin is the same as the circulating. So everything that's been printed has already been distributed. That's what that means. Now it has a max supply of 21 million. Okay, that's important to know. Not all the coins have a max supply. A lot of people think that all cryptocurrencies have a max supply. That is incorrect. Okay. So it, it, this is how you'll know if it says max supply. Now, another few things I wanted to go over. See, Bitcoin details, if you go over here, you can see the day your cryptocurrency was created. So this is January 3rd, 2009, 11 years ago. Now, most cryptocurrencies, legitimate ones have a white paper. This is the very first white paper uh, written by Satoshi Nakamoto. This is one of the most revolutionary documents we have ever seen in human history. Why? Because they created the first decentralized cryptocurrency. So the white paper goes over why it was created, how it works, and um, yeah, all the details of Bitcoin. It's very computer science heavy. Now, this is what you also want to pay attention to. Development status, working product, for the most part. For the most part, you want to work in product, okay? There's a lot of cryptos that promise a lot of shit and never come out with anything, and a lot of people lose out on investments. I have as well. So, crucially, crucially, organizational structure decentralized decentralized okay this is cryptocurrency this is what this is about so this is how you're going to know if your cryptocurrency is truly decentralized or not you don't have to guess all right open source yes is the code open source can anyone verify copy look and edit and update the code yes open source consensus mechanism all right proof of work you have to do the work and prove it to the network in order to validate the blocks so algorithm SHA-256, this is how you know all the details. Hardware wallet, yes, for the most part, you always want to work in hardware wallet. Otherwise, you'll have to keep it on exchange or, and it's not really yours. So you want to see this, okay? This, so my, generally speaking, and the way I invest in cryptos is I want it as close to Bitcoin as possible, all right? I know things are different, but I still want it as close to Bitcoin as possible. So let's look at Ethereum, okay? It's $245. All right, market cap, $27 billion, right? All-time high was $1,400 back in January 13, 2008. And percentage is 480% to get to that top. So Ethereum's 245, all-time high was 1400. Looks like it could potentially be a really good investment if it's the second cryptocurrency. Now let's pay attention. 
circulating supply, 111 million, all right? There is no max supply, all right? There is no max supply. So the circulating supply is the same. So whatever's been created has been distributed, all right? That's important to know. That's why the, that's why it's uh, you would, the market markets discover truth. So it's uh, it's it's priced significantly less than it is Bitcoin. All right, why? Be for generally, in my opinion, because there's no max supply, that means it has an inflation rate. Cryptocurrencies have an inflation rate. You want to pay attention. It was started 2015, uh, July 30th. This is the uh, Ethereum white paper. Very revolutionary document as well. Development status, working product. Okay, let's pay attention. Organizational structure, semi-centralized. That's important to know. Look up the DAO, uh, DAO hard fork, okay? Open source, yes. Proof of work, soon to be proof of stake. Algorithm, hashing algorithm is ETH hash. Hardware wallet, yes. So this is Ethereum. This is how you know the details. Now, let's compare that to Ethereum Classic. All right, that's almost at $7 as a uh, date of this video all right 811 million dollar market cap all-time high is 47 dollars all right now let's look at this circulating supply max supply so it is a max supply it's called a hard cap so it's looking a lot like bitcoin this ethereum classic because it has a max supply now started 2016 after the hard fork you can read the white paper here yes it has a working product yes it's decentralized open source yes proof of work yes Different hashing algorithm, ETH hash, just like Ethereum, hardware wallet, yes. So to me, I like Ethereum Classic so much because it looks just like Bitcoin, but Ethereum version of Bitcoin, which is sick, which is dope. Now let's check this out. Let's look at Dogecoin real quick. Dogecoin is like two twentieth, uh, maybe something of a penny. All right, it's hella cheap. Let's look at that. Why is it hella cheap? Whoa, whoa. So let's look at the circulating supply. 124 billion. 124 billion with no max supply. No max supply. So they can just keep printing and printing and printing and printing more Doge. No wonder why the market is pro uh, market its uh, price so cheap. All right? But it did hit almost a $2 billion market cap and it almost hit two cents. It almost hit two. I know it sounds crazy. So you can stack up on the Doge and come up big. You know what I'm saying? Because it's so cheap. But that's why it's so cheap because they can print so much. So uh, I don't think it has a white paper. You can see the date, working product, decentralized, open source, proof of work. So it's looking a lot like Bitcoin. That's why I like it. And last but not least, basic attention token. Right now it's going up since uh, Joe Rogan started uh he promoted it on his podcast i've been promoting it look in the uh click the link in the description download the brave browser you get paid basic attention token for using the browser and it's also safer to use than google chrome so it's a private privacy based browser that you get uh paid for your attention uh for clicking ads and it goes directly into your crypto wallet okay so, and I can also show you, if you hit me up for the mentorship, uh, I can show you how to earn interest off your attention, how to gain passive income off your attention just from using the Brave browser. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. This is the way I hustle, okay? So let's look at it. All-time high, almost hit a dollar. Circulating supply, there is no max supply, but check this out. The circulating supply is different from the total supply, okay? So the total supply acts as a temporary max supply. So they haven't distributed everything yet until they hit the total supply and once they hit that they may print more so they don't have a total max but they do have a, a set aside it's like a temporary max supply so this is kind of how you need to know about what's going on and why is it so cheap why isn't the price going up like i thought it would and like other bitcoins and other cryptos are going you got to pay attention to the circulating supply which is already out there total supply which is what they pretty much have reserved this is what we're going to use now and some of them do or don't have a max supply okay some of them never have a total supply so this is just important to know uh the white paper right here beta version wait organizational structure centralized centralized okay open source yes not mineable not mineable it's erc's erc20 token on the ethereum blockchain so it's like a subsidiary of uh, ethereum algorithm knows not it, it runs on the ethereum blockchain and it has a hardware wallet so this is important to know this is important to know okay now let me see if i can pull xrp up let's see if i can pull it up all right one thing i want to show you one thing I want to show you. Oh, 
open source development. They don't need, ah, oh, I thought they had it. I thought they had it, open source. This, so they, I think XRP paid to take this shit off that it was centralized because this shit is on every other one but this one. You see that? Oh, that's some shady shit. That's some shady shit. I don't know what, what's up with that. But hey, at least you guys can see that. So uh, the fact that XRP doesn't have it, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of getting a little suspect, but that's how you know. So that's how you do your crypto due diligence. Let me know if I should do a course. Let me know if uh, if you hit me up for the mentorship. If I should do an online kind of thing uh, and teach you go in a deeper about crypto due diligence. None of this is my personal opinion, but I'm showing you what, how I kind of look and invest in cryptocurrencies. And uh, I appreciate the love, family. I appreciate the love. Check out the links in the description. Check out my videos on library. Check out my courses. Hit me up for the mentorship. And, uh, you know, share my videos. Let people know. Crypto Roots. All right. Take care.